Right, this is uh, an update for the um, LED growing uh, kit that I've got here. So this is um, a normal propagation unit here, uh, available from uh, home base or B&Q for between um, three and seven pounds, depending on what sort of uh, one you want. As you can see down here, we've got some winter purslane growing. What I've noticed is uh, that um, things that you might associate as weeds like the purse lane, um, wild rocket, um, and chickweed. They all seem to grow a lot better um, indoors over winter with uh, the lower light levels, but you're still getting um, small foliage compared to what you would normally get. But you know, still, it's it's okay. But I'm not. It's something that I might not bother doing uh, next year. Um, just trying it out this year, seeing you know what I can do. Uh, these have been growing for approximately 22, 23 days, and um, we've got move this to the um, front of the house, so it's uh, now getting um, up to eight hours of of light a day, um, and then once it gets a bit darker, it's got these LED lights at the back here um, for. For um, four days a week, it's um, I'm giving it clear white light, and then for um, two of the days of the week, I'm putting some blue plastic film there in front of it to give it some blue light at night, um, and then um, between one and two days a week, um, depending. Uh, but normally just one day a week, I give it just pure red light um, cover the whole unit with uh, a red plastic and even have, well the, well, the lights permeate the, LED um, the, um, the red plastic anyway and just gives this um, unit red light at night these are just um, solar lights getting powered up uh, during the day and then they'll stay on between 6 and 8 hours at night uh, what I've shown in the past as well is can actually build different things with them so you put one on top of another like that um, this light will go on first so if you imagine this is down at the back there this light will go on first and because this light's on this light will be off and then when this light turns off this light will be on and so if you get some sort of thing going on like that what you're going to end up with is um, some light hitting these plants for up to 24 hours a day which is um, brilliant and because it's solar power it's free as well. Uh, one other thing as well, um, the reason why I've been using different colour lights on the LEDs um, or, eat, or just um, different covering of, um, of film of red and blue or just leaving it clear is because um, they've got different, um, well they give different properties to the plant so with um, a red LED you're going to get um, more growth of the leaves. Um, with the blue you'll get a slower growth but more uh, firm plant and with the clear you get more of a, a natural growth so it's um, something to consider. Um, the, the, the reason why I'm not using too much red light at the moment is because the plants seem to just be collapsing on themselves, I've been um, changing it up a bit and using a bit more clear light and blue light uh, when the plants get a bit more firmer they're going to um, increase the um, the red light for the uh, the actual leaves of foliage um, and hopefully by that time the stems would have um, uh, got a bit more thicker, more sturdier we'll see anyway. Right, take care and bye